Good evening! Sometimes you gotta play games which are outside your comfort zone. And racing games are definitely one of them for me. However, I do remember this game very, very well when I was younger, and it's Micro Machines on the Mega Drive. Um, it was one of those toys in the 90s every young boy had, those tiny, tiny little cars, and it was they brought a game out for it, Codemasters brought a game out for it, which was a racing game. It was actually quite well done, it was quite clever how you kind of raced through probably sort of areas where you would play with your cars at, as a kid, so that made it quite fun to do. So I think the best way of showing you is just by showing you, so tonight, for your viewing enjoyment, please sit back, relax and enjoy. This is Micro Machines on the Mega Drive. Well, <laughs> Micro Machines. We all had them growing up in the 90s, but they brought out a game. And it's a racing game. And I suck at racing games. So let's uh, let's just do a let's just grind the challenge one. Where's Chen? Little known fact. That was my nickname at school because of this character, and that's kind of racist. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's, it's fine. Come on, Chen, let's do this. Which one am I? Oh, you are kidding me. The Chinese guy's in the yellow boat. Really? Really, Micro Machines? Oh, my lord. You know what? I don't care. I'm just, I'm just gonna just qu qualify for this slightly racist game. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Seriously? Uh, who should we go against? Well, he's dire, so that sounds fun. He's poor. And he's rash. Yes, why am I choosing the three easiest characters? Because I'm crap at racing games, and this is going to only going to end badly. So let's go. The, the breakfast bends in four by fours. Oh, is this one with the beans? <laughs> I've not played this in a very long time. This will be interesting. Oh yeah. By the way, I'm an absolutely filthy driver as well. Beans. Yeah. It is the one with the bean, and that flooring does my eyes in. At least this is a relatively short course. Uh, I just uh, just casually navigate the uh, Cheerios, and the baked beans. Oh, this is making me hungry. Oh, there's waffle as well. Oh. Isn't waffle just the best thing to have with baked beans? So like the beans go in the holes. It is, in my opinion. That is that is a that is a wholesome breakfast. I can't think I've ever had potato waffles for breakfast. I've had like Belgian waffles for breakfast. I think when I went holiday once, but Ooh. okay, cool. That's not bad. Won my first race. Desktop drop off with sports cars. Oh, I'm going to drive off the fucking side. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, how wayward have I gone here? Fuck it. Oh, these are quick, these vehicles. Oh, 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 oh dear. Sharp, uh, pencil eraser. Pencil sharpener. What's my undoing? Oh, fuck. Let me back on. The thing I find with this... Shit. I find with this game is I can't see where the bends are coming up. And I, as you can see, I just end up just hooning it off the map, like, all the time. I'm just overcooking every bend. I mean, I'm not expecting some, like... You know, like, how uh, touring car drivers have a co-pilot and they tell them what's coming up. I'm not expecting that, but... <laughs> I'm lucky. I've gone a bit off-piste here. But I've made it over the, uh... Where's the edge? Where's the edge? There's the edge of the table. Just a, just a cunning decelerate. And, oh, and I've over-egged that corner again. 
So yeah, another dis a continual dis disclaimer in the game. I am not good at racing games. It's just one of those weird ones. It's sort of like... I remember having this argument when I was... Um, I was at uni with my housemate. I said, oh, I, I can do racing games because I can drive in real life. Driving in real life is nothing like this. I mean, like, the original Grand Theft Auto was kind of, was top down like this, but, um, no, I wouldn't say my ability to drive in real life impacts this in the slightest. A bit fucked. Oh, no, is that a plane or is that a boat? Oh, no, they're, um, like, Cadillac y kind of things? Aya. I'm guessing the bubbles fuck you up. Whoops. Oh dear, oh dear, I've gone very wayward. Fucking pencils. What was quite cool was, I mean, again, back in the 90s, you know, Lots of people kind of tied in stuff with video toys with video games because it just raised the interest. I had loads of micro machines when I was a kid. They were pretty cool fucking toys. I mean, I'm not even particularly into cars. Or any vehicles out for that matter, but maybe not tanks, but... I'm still not understanding how this, uh, this top profile of this vehicle even resembles a Cadillac. Whee! Yes, I know I'm playing this on easy, this is a very hollow victory, but... Walter's out! Oh, I see! Cherries. Oh, I like Emilio. Go on, let's get Emilio in. A triple win. Bonus race. Beat the clock with a big wheel. Oh. Sorry, where am I meant to go? Not in the big... What? Oh, Jeebus. Oh, this is... What is this like the fucking Max Payne fucking blood trails? Oh, this is impossible. What the fuck? How are you supposed to do this? Well, I'm, I'm not going to do the challenge, obviously, but... This isn't a race in, is it? If I've got to go on some fucking tightrope in a fucking big... Yes, I failed it. Yeah, very good. All right. Continue game. Carry on reveling in the fact that I fucked up. No one's going to be able to do that. Let's be honest. That's impossible. I'm sure people online do it. But yeah, I don't care. I can't fucking do it. It's too hard. Come on. Gene buggies. Oh, these are nippy. Oh yeah! Oh goodness! What are they? Are they bananas or sand dunes? Oh shit! That rock was a bit of a fucker. Splash! Okay, so I need to jump over that. Well, I'm dead last now, so that's uh, good fun. And that's a sand castle. And oh my god, how hard is that? Talk about increasing difficulty spikes. Jeez. And it's challenging because I I am finding it tricky, quite tricky, trying to work out where I'm supposed to be going. And I made the jump this time, and that's always a bonus, and I didn't totally book it. Spoke too soon. Oh, 
I just literally cannot see the bends coming up, and that is the thing that is really fucking me up here. Especially if, it, you know, like this is, what, the first time in 20 odd years I've actually played this level. Fuck's sake. Ugh, oh, yeah, second, 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 second. So, Bandana Mush got fucking top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I qualified. Oatmeal in overdrive. Oh, we're back at breakfast time. Beans. Milk. This is a very messy fucking eaters in this household. Whoops. Oh, they're not Cheerios, they're Toppies. I remember there was a cereal called Toppers. They were like shredded wheat with like sugar frosting on the top of it. This is just incredibly nostalgic for breakfast items and toys. I always accidentally totally miss those uh those beans because I'm just can't drive properly. Whee! Oh goodness. Oh shit. That's a big ass baked bean or is that a sauce? Please tell me you're not having putting fucking beans in your cereal, because that would be gross. That is unacceptable breakfast etiquette. It's my first win since the bandana bell end came into the uh, 4A. Oh, Dwayne's not happy. Oh, Formula One cars? Cube ball circuit. Someone has just ruined a perfectly good uh, pool table there. Oh! Oh! I thought that was a jump. That. Mmm. Oh dear. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, whoops. I break. I break so much. I reversed off. Brilliant. There's a recurring theme here. Fuck me. Oh, I blew up. Oh, oh, you blow up. Oh, right, okay. Okay, this course is fucking impossible. Hey. Is this all still one lap? Yeah, this is all... Right, I'm actually stuck on the fucking ball. Brilliant. Oh, shitting hell. That playing card is not obvious, sir. Get out of the way, bitch. I am not good with these corners. Oh, come on now. That second 
King of Hearts explosion, I would debate. Fuck off. Gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, because when we come out, I'm going to absolutely be flying. This is freaking hard. Every fucking time I've literally just gone shooting off the fucking... Oh, god damn it. I am dead last. Fuck. I'm developing an intrinsic hatred of the pool tables. I am gonna come last here. I'm doing very badly. I'm still gonna bin it straight into that fucking billiard ball. Just watch. No, I fucking avoided it. I'm still... Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. God damn it, that was a fucking shock. Yeah. Oh, dear. Failed. One life lost. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, he goes from last to first. Holy shit. I am I'm quite surprised by that, actually. Dwayne is out. Shall we? With her wobbly pigtails. Ooh, we've got another one of those Cadillac y kind of things. Handyman's curve. Oh, it was another oil table one. Whoops. By a bubble. Yikes. Fuck. <laughs> I think I took that wide enough. Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, and there's the first lap. Oh, come on now. Fuck off, Bubble. It's funny, you can go massively off piste in this game. You, the game, to its credit, doesn't give you a fucking ear for it, which is nice. The noises are a bit... Oh, that bubble. Every fucking time. Oops. Just want that one out the boss. Yikes. And I always get caught by something. Of course I do. Just going to casually avoid these bubbles because they're no good. Oh, fuck. Oh, every time. I've just hit every freaking bubble in existence, haven't I? Yep. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Oh my god, he nicks it on the fucking line. Jeez. Fucking got away with that. Absolutely got away with that. No, 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 not this 4x4 bollocks. I can't do it. Is this, is this one of those slow and steady wins the race kind of fucking ideas? Oh, I'm a 
to go this way. Uh, no. Which one am I going to go? This way? I don't know which way I meant you, you want me to go, game. Oh, this way. That was really not obvious which way I was meant to go there. You've done it again, haven't you? Yeah, you're right, I failed because it wasn't fucking obvious where to go. Let's be honest, when we play Microsoft as a kid, you jump over shit anyway, don't you? So. Speedboats. So we're going to play in someone's bath now because that's not odd. Suck at this. Absolutely put. Oh, there's a maelstrom in the middle of a bath. What? What happened? What? Did it, was that meant to happen? Did I just find some glitch? A very beneficial glitch by accident? I don't know. I just kind of got launched up the fucking bath, which I'm, I'm in the fucking sink. Is it beneficial going over the soap? I haven't quite worked that bit out yet. Oh, muscle, muscles his way into first place. And every time I end up down the fucking plug hole. I'd just like to point out at this juncture, I haven't seen the computer fuck up like that yet, so. Third. That was a bit shit, wasn't it? <laughs> and a loss to life. One life left. Oh, I forgot, when you lose a life, it makes you do it again. Same, same driving line as you, I don't get fucked by the maelstrom, do I? Oh, seconds qualification, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Sahara Sandpit Turbo Wheels. Right. Back in the uh, June buggies. The June buggies have got a mind of their fucking own. My god. What are those? Are they bananas? Or are they. They look like Finder's Crispy Pancakes, if you guys remember them. Well, yes, another 90s reference for you. Oh, footprint put me off there. Oh my life. Everything's just so bright and wacky. It's just. It's very off putting. Flash. And I'm dead last. Okay. Oh, fuck. I was going to say, there's a very selective spade crossing there. Oh, so many water. Why did it respawn me back there when there is where I went off the track? I can see this playthrough coming to a very abrupt end imminently. Fuck off. I do find the respawn time a little bit harsh because the computer characters who go off don't seem to spend that much time in the fucking respawn gulag as I do. Oh, yep, that's it, last. That's it. That's all she wrote. And that's all she wrote. Well, that, ladies and jelly spoons. Is Micro Machines on the Mega Drive.
Uh, what an interesting little um, experience that was. Now, as you know, not great with um, driving games at the best of times. Interesting to play this. Though. I do. I do remember this. Do remember this from school. I do remember everyone talking about this at school, and it was one of those ones. It was. I think it might have been V6 that had the uh, that was compatible with the multi tap, so you could actually have four of you playing this, which was. It was a lot of fun for what it is. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you if you like your driving games, you probably like it. But then again, because you can't see the corners coming up, you may not like it. But I do remember this game pretty well, and. Yeah, it was a good little bit of fun. Nice little bit of nostalgia there for you. So I'm going to pack it up here and say, if you've come this far, thank you for choosing to spend your time with me. If you like this video, please drop a little like on it and perhaps subscribe if you're new. Plenty of retro games coming your way from me as always. Some massively out of my comfort zone like this is. We're a Micro Machines fan or a Micro Machines fan of the, oh, sorry, a fan of the Micro Machines game. Let's pop it down in the comments. Let's have a little chat about it. I want to hear your retro stories of these games. But I'm going to leave it there and say thanks again for watching. Stay safe, everyone. And I will see you next time. Good night.